Welcome everybody, today's tasting of That Day Drinking Show. Today we are going to try a confusing brewery mystery, but hopefully not a Im confusing imperial stout. The beer we're talking about today is Evil Twin Brewing. Jackie O's, you're in the jungle, baby. And that's why the confusion starts a little bit. Because Evil Twin, as I was looking up, really doesn't have a brewery. Okay. It finds other breweries that brew beer for them, as this one is brewed by Dorchester in Boston, Massachusetts. Okay. But it says Jackie O's, which is a brewery pub. So I really don't know where this beer is coming from. But I do know it is marked as an Imperial Stout at 12%. You like that percentage? And you know I like a high alcohol percentage. We both do very much. Because even though we will drink it and feel it right away, you can also store it and save it for next year. And it should be pretty tasty. Well, okay. So let's get to tasting this beer. Let's taste. This beer was originated in Denmark but it's now also in Williamsburg, New York. But this is where it gets confusing because the breweries aren't in Denmark or Williamsburg. This beer says it was brewed in Boston, Massachusetts, but it's under the label also with Jackie O's. So I can only assume, and you know what happens when you assume, yeah, that man. Jackie O's and Dorchester made the co collaboration together to make this beer for Evil Brewing. Now, Evil Brewing, again, I'm not too sure. You can check this out on me. I have not found this in in blah, 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 information, but I believe they are just a distributor. Okay. Which kind of makes more sense to me somehow. Okay. All right. To you. To me. <laughs> you let us know out there if I'm off base, if I'm on base, give us a shout. Okay, so now let's talk about this beer. This beer is an Imperial Stout, 12% alcohol. Let's open it up and oh, let's start okay. drinking. Okay, all right, well. I can't pour. Well. Mark is our professional pourer. Excuse because I pour. spilt all over the set. Oh, the look at time. this. And Mark is now spilt all over the set. Look at this darkness. It's very dark. Wow. I like it, very midnight. Perfect stout pour. Nice head to it. It's stouty. Very nice. Okay. So far, I'm liking. Oh, right away, the chocolate. That chocolate just, <laughs> like, comes right over you. Yeah. But you know what I don't smell? Full body chocolate. Sometimes at 12%, I usually smell the alcohol with this. I really don't. I just, I, the the alcohol chocolate. is hitting yeah. very nicely. Yeah, very chocolate. Oh, there's a lot oh. going on in that sip. Oh, Whoa! Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> they said oh. it has a Pascal, Woo! Pascali, Pascali, Ch Pascali chili, and it hits you right oh, away. Oh, still crazy. That chocolate smell oh. is just gone, and that chili hits you right in the face. I Woo! agree. Wow. You sip it, it goes down nice, smooth. Yeah, it does die down a little bit, but I'm I, I feeling it still. I'm still, I, and I'm a, I'm. I hate to tell you, I'm a wuss when it comes to heat. So I still feel this heat a little bit. Oh, there's heat. Oh, it's a lot of heat. There's heat. I, oh, let me tell you, there's some heat. <laughs> now I know why this thing was, was done in Dorchester, Massachusetts, because it gets cold up in Massachusetts. <laughs> Something like to keep you warm. York, and the heat's in here. Wow. 
Wow, that is some really good heat. I don't really know. I, there's that orangey thing. I, I'm getting I don't a little know. Orange. I'm sorry. I, oh, the heat's covering it the up. The heat's covering everything up. I don't taste any alcohol, which is good if you want. But chocolate and heat. Yeah. I'm I, getting I, chocolate. I don't even get the chocolate anymore. I'm getting chocolate and heat. Mmm. All right. That's a hot beer. <laughs> so during the break, I actually read the can, which I... Probably should have done in the beginning. You would think. <laughs> Which, but it also furthers my confusion because it, we found that it's distributed by 12%. So Evil Brewing is no, not even a distributor. It's not a brewer or has a facility. So we are total. I am at least. And so am I. So totally Eddie confused in what is going on with the whole process. So if you out there, Evil Brewing, Dorchester, Jackie O, 12%. Leave a comment, get to us. Let's get to the bottom of this so we can tell everybody what's really going on out there. Thank you. But in conclusion, after having a few tastes of this, this, this beer, it's, it's nice. It's a chocolatey beer, but the hint, which isn't just a hint, it's a kind of an overwhelming heat from the jalapeno. It's good maybe for a marinade. We're not a cooking show, I'm just putting it out there. But that being said, on that top of the, of the beer, I think I'm good with it. Yeah, I, it, it's it definitely it's better for your steak than it is for your belly. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, it, so. it was a good, good first hit, but yeah. the heat was a little too much for my. Right, right. But it's, if you're it, a heat lover, not a if it's not a traditional stout. No, no. Anyway, if you want something that's a little bit offbeat and different than your stout, this give it a try. If you like a traditional stout, stay away. But I know there's a lot of heat lovers out there that will like. Yeah, they like yeah, the heat. Yeah, it's, it's just not that's for just us. not for me. No, no. no. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and please subscribe. And make sure you check out our Facebook page. And remember, keep, keep on, on day drinking. drinking. Cheers. Uh, I'm sorry. No.